madam. Let us do the general journal. We are given information presented below is taken from the books of Divan Stores. The, Div the business is owned by H. Divan. We are required to record the transactions in the general journal for December 2018 and close of the general properly. Refer to the information below. Note that narrations are not required. And we are given provisional totals. With the provisional totals, I'm going to take them straight to my general journal and record them there as totals brought down. Let us go to the first transaction. The first transaction says that a debtor, A. Pando, who owes 1,200, was declared insolvent. His estate paid 30 cents in the rents. This has been recorded in the books of the business. It basically was recorded in the CRJ. Now, what is 30 cents? 30 cents is the same as 30%. You will simply take that 1,200, times it by 30, Percent and this will give you 360. This 360 was recorded in the general in the in the CRJ. However, since we only received 30, it means that we did not receive the other 70 percent. How much is the 70 percent of 1200? It is 840. That 840 is what we call bad. Debts. And the question says clearly that the remainder must be written off as bad debts. The remainder must be written off as bad debts, as irrecoverable. So what are we going to do to record that? You will debit bad debts, which is an expense, and credit the name of the debtor. The reason why we credit the name of the debtor is because our asset is decreasing. The debtor is owing us less Basically, that will take us to nothing. The data will end up owing us nothing. And therefore, we have to reduce our data's control by the same amount, which is 840, which reduces the data's control by the amount that was written off. Let's go to the second transaction. The bank statement reflected a dishonored payment of 570 received from J. Klopp in settlement of his account of 600. Settlement means that the whole debt was paid off. This person paid us um, 570 to settle, to pay off the entire debt, which is 600. Note that they told you that the 570 was recorded, obviously, this means the 570 was recorded in the CPG. Initially, it was recorded in the CRJ when we received the money, but now we have to reverse it by canceling it in the CPG. Only 570 was canceled in the CPG. When you take the amount that this data was owing compared to what um, we reversed in the CPG, you will realize that um, the additional amount of 30 rent was not reversed. So this person in our books still owes us 30 rent less. And that is wrong. We need to correct that because that was the discount. And that discount, we need to cancel it because it was only given to the person um, only if the person was settling the discount, which is J. Trop here. Only if J. Trop was settling the, 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 the debt that was owed, the total amount that was owed, which is 600, then we we're going to give him a discount. But because now the debt um, or his his payment was dishonored by the bank. We need to reverse the discount that was initially given to him because the terms and conditions were that you will only get the discount if you settle your debt. And now that the amount has been or the payment has been dishonored, we need to cancel that discount. Note that discount allowed is an expense. To cancel it, we need to reduce our expense by crediting it. However, J. Trop will owe us that 30 rent. We initially reduced his debt by 30 rent, but now we need to increase it by 30 rent because the initial amount that was received has been dishonored by the bank. And therefore, we need to increase the debtor's control. At the same time, we need to reduce our discount allowed, reducing our expense by 30 rent. Let's go to number three. The owner, C. Divan, was unhappy with the stock he took home and returned the stock to the business, 170. Note that when he took the stock home, we debited drawings, we credited trading stock. Now that he's returning the stock, we reverse this. 
by debiting, trading stock, and crediting drawings. Let's move on. Transaction four. Merchandise costing 640 was purchased and paid by EFT and correctly recorded in the CPJ. However, when posting the CPJ, it was erroneously recorded as consumable stores. Oh, so here we were supposed to debit merchandise and obviously we credited bank that is gone. However, actually we, uh, we were supposed to debit trading stock, okay? Because some of you are like, what is merchandise? Merchandise is just trading stock. We were supposed to debit trading stock. Instead, we debited consumable stores, which is an expense. So we need to reverse this by reducing consumable stores on the credit side and debiting the correct account, which will be trading stock. Note that debtors control column and creators control column will not be affected in this case. Let's move on. On the fifth, it says that goods retained by Emma Wema, a data as per credit note for 210, were incorrectly posted to the account of M. Mugwena, a data. Now, goods were retained by Emma Wema. We debited debtors allowances. We were supposed to credit M. Mawema. However, we still debited debtors allowances we credited M Mugui. So the debit is not wrong. The problem is with the credit. So we are going to debit M Mukwena and then um, M Mukwena and then credit the correct account, which is M Mawema. Note that this mistake was only made in the debtor's ledger. It was not made in the debtor's control. Everything was posted correctly. The mistake was only made in the debtor's ledger. So therefore, Debtors control will not be affected. Even if it is affected, the net effect will be zero. Let's move on. On the sixth, um, well, transaction six, it says an amount of 550 received from B Smith in settlement of her account was incorrectly posted to the account of T Smith, meaning that we debited bank, but we credited T Smith instead of crediting B Smith. So we need to correct this by debiting T Smith. And now this will also affect creator's control, okay? So what do we need to do here? We will simply have to debit T Smith and also debit our creditors control because we're not owing B, um, T Smith any amount. And then we credit um, B Smith as well as our debtors control. Then you total it up. And that's it. Okay, let me see what I can give you. Try this one out. And please check out the next video for solution. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.